my little unicorns. How are you guys today? I wanted to start out with our quote. We are so proud of you. We are so proud of you. Did you guys go through that video with me yet from yesterday? Oh, it was so long, but we learned so much. And this is part three of remembering our school year together. Yay! And we are so proud of you guys. You guys have done so much this year. Um, and Deb and I got to see a lot of you yesterday at school when you got to pick up your um, rain boots and your raincoats and all the other stuff that we had in our classroom that's yours, like the um, matte man crayons and your Play-Doh and your watercolors and pictures of you. So that was a fun treat to see you guys. Um, yesterday but this is part three of remembering our school year and um, we're going to talk about a lot of different things today my little unicorns right we um, we learned I think we said 34 themes throughout the year and um, we're going to learn eight more today okay so, like I said yesterday, buckle up your seat belts and let's go for that ride down memory lane together, okay? Let me fix my, my video camera a little bit. There, sorry. All right, so, dun, 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 we are ready to learn. Um, first of all, before we get started, I looked over my video yesterday and I only made one teeny tiny mistake. And it was when we were talking about the letter J, J, right? And on my coloring sheet, I said that there was a gem on there. Now, I know you guys are so smart and you guys were probably like, no, Miss Britt, gem starts with a G, not a J. And that was something we would get mixed up all the time. Well, not all the time, but sometimes in class where we would think a J was a G or a G was a J. I did that. I said that Charlotte loved her gems. Gem starts with a G, not a J, Miss Britt. Jewels start with a J. A jewel and a gem are kind of the same thing, so I can see where I got messed up. And I was coming down for my coffee, <laughs> and there was a lot to talk about, but those are just excuses. I made a mistake. Gem starts with J, G, see? Gem starts with G, and Jewel starts with J. Whew. Okay, put that aside. Today is a new day, right? Every day is a new day. You get back up and you try again. Today's a new day. And little unicorns, we are going for a ride down memory lane. Okay, before we do that, this is Stinky Kid Sky and her pants have fallen down. Whoops. And I see, what do I see under there? Underwear. <laughs> right, Alice? Um, I'm gonna put her pants back on and she's gonna be my breathing buddy today. Okay, so do you guys have your breathing buddies? If not, run, 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 go get them. All right, and if you don't have a breathing buddy, you know what, that's okay. You can put your hand on your chest, on your heart. You can put your hand on your belly. You can, I have Wonder Woman on my shirt today, Jackson's favorite shirt, so she can be my breathing buddy too. So you don't have to have a breathing buddy, but I like to have one and this is Sky. And I have Sky today because we're gonna talk about one of our themes that was Black History Month, okay? We had a lot of fun talking about a lot of really nice, cool people for Black History Month. Okay, so let's do our breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth four times. Here we go. Are you calm? I'm always really calm after our breathing. I must say it works. You can see it in my eyes. I've watched these videos and after I'm breathing, my eyes look like they're ready to go to sleep. But it also means that my brain is ready for learning and I am ready to listen. OK, 
okay? So Sky, I'm gonna put you over here with Mr. Smurf for now, and we are going to go right into our topics, okay? So we left off yesterday talking about holidays around the world, okay? And then what happened during the year was we then went on our holiday break and everybody celebrated their holidays that they celebrate. Um, and we came back to school in January. January is a month that comes after December, January, to a new teacher, right? We lost Miss Jenny, who we love so much, but she's doing great, by the way. And then we got a new teacher, Miss Deb, yay! And Miss Deb fit right in. Everybody fell madly in love with her, me too. And we worked so well as a team, and it was so nice to have Miss Deb join our classroom, right? Okay, and the topic or the theme that we talked about after holidays around the world, around the world, around the world, that's the tie-in to the themes, we talked about maps and globes, maps and globes, okay? And we also, we talked about the differences between a map and a globe. So do you guys remember what are some of the differences between a map and a globe? We, used, we charted it on our board at circle time. If you said a globe is round, you are correct. A globe is round. If you said a map is flat, usually, you are correct, right? If you said um, a globe spins around, right? Goes around and around and around. I wish I had my globe with me. I just took it out of our classroom, but no, it's in our classroom. I put it in our closet and I didn't bring it home with me, but you guys probably have globes at home. So if you have a globe at home, Go get it while we're talking about it. So you guys can spin it around. You can look at it while we're talking. Um, okay, so a globe spins around, right? So it's round and it spins around. A map, like here's a map. Here's a map of our neighborhood, which we'll talk about next. That's flat. A map is flat. Oh, I had a map in here that Emma gave me of the world and I don't know where it is right now. Oh, bummer. That would have been fun to show you. Anyway. Okay, so a globe is round that spins, spins, spins. Uh, a map is flat, and it, it, um, uh, you can take, a map you can take with us during um, car rides. Remember we talked about that? I used to hold up the globe, and it was so heavy, and I would say, if I take this globe with me to try to find um, where Chick-fil-A is, can I find it with this big globe in my hands? And you guys would laugh, ha ha ha, no, Miss Britt, it's too big, you can't drive like that. So I'd say, right, you need a map to take with you. It's flat and it's little so that you can also drive and find Chick-fil-A in our neighborhood. Now, we also laughed and giggled because nowadays, nobody really even uses a map. They have their phone and they go on their GPS and their Waze and their Google Maps, and the phone tells you exactly where to go. I wonder what's going to happen when you guys are older. I wonder what kind of maps or phones, or is the car going to tell you where to go all by itself? I don't know, friends. It's amazing what's going to happen. Okay, so a globe is round and spins, and it looks like the entire what? What does this look like? Right, the entire planet Earth. And a map is usually something smaller, like my neighborhood or a treasure map. Ooh, you guys should make a treasure map today. You should make a, a pretend treasure ma map and pretend you're pirates and go around and look for gold around your house. That would be kind of fun. Um, a scavenger hunt can sometimes be a map too, that you map out where things are that you have to find, right? You could do that too. But some of the other maps besides a treasure map is in the beginning, we were talking about our classroom, and I drew a picture of our classroom. That was a map, mapped out where everything was in our classroom. 
And for show and share, you guys made maps of your rooms and they were great. I think some of them we gave back to you for your, for to keep. Um, we also, for globes, we did this project where I drew a globe for you and you put different shapes on the globe. What shape is this green shape? Right, a triangle. What shape is the pink shape? A diamond. What shape is the yellow shape? A circle. What shape is the red shape? Triangle. And what about the orange shape? An oval, right? And our little hoot hoot owl at the top. And I'll tell you why we have an owl on our globe in a minute. And you guys found the shapes and you made your very own globe with how your brain wanted to see the globe. Okay, and you glued that on and we talked about shapes. So we incorporated, we included shapes in our theme of globes. Very good. So that was something that we did in class. Okay, we also talked about where we live using our maps and globes, okay? So the first thing we talked about is that we live on what planet? Do you remember? Right, we live on planet Earth. What is the continent? Okay, so on the globe, you had the blue, which was the water, and the green, which is the land, and those lands are called continents. Do you remember which continent we live on? So we live on planet Earth. The continent we live on is North America, right? North America, can you say that? North America, okay, let's say this together. We live on planet Earth, right? And we live on the continent of North America. Very good. Now, what country do we live in? The United States of America, right? USA, USA, woo! USA, United States of America, okay? So let's say this again. We live on planet Earth. We live on the continent, North America. We live in the country, United States of America, okay? What is the state that we live in? Right, Georgia, we live in the state of Georgia. And what's our city? Atlanta, ATL, Atlanta, okay? And the neighborhood we live in, or the neighborhood that our school is in, we said, was, or is, Morningside, okay? So we went from big, which is planet Earth, all the way down to something little, which is Morningside, our neighborhood. And what we did was we, for our morning work also this week, we took out Play-Doh and we made some big, big Play-Doh balls, some medium Play-Doh balls, and some little Play-Doh balls, okay, to talk about different sizes and how we learn about where we live. Okay, so just one more time. We live on planet Earth. We live on the continent, North America. Our country name is United States of America. The state we live in is Georgia. The city we live in is Atlanta. And the neighborhood our school is, is in Morningside. Very good. I can do it. Yes, I can. Stickers all around. Very good. Okay. We also talked about on maps, you see something like this. And that, my friends, we said was or is a compass rose. Compass rose. N for north, E for east, S for south, and W for west. And do you remember how we, what we said in, um, to help us learn north, east, south, west? Do you remember? We said, never eat soggy waffles. Can you say that with me? Never eat soggy waffles. Actually, Emma gave that to me. Never is starts with the N, N for north. Eat starts with the E for east. 
S is the soggy, which is the south, and W is for waffles, which is west. North, east, south, west. Never eat soggy waffles. That's actually good advice. Unless it's covered in syrup, yummy. Okay, so that's a compass rose for maps and globes. Okay, um, we also brought in a new thing to our, um, century, our centers um, during this week, and it was Candyland for kind of like maps. And you guys had a really good time with Candyland. You played with Deb and I and with your friends and lots of people won and everybody was a good sport if they didn't win. And we were having a really fun time going over that together. Okay, now the reason why you had an owl at the top of your globe was because the letter that we learned that week was did you say oh oh right and mr jackson it's our fourth vowel oh and how do you say oh ah right take your index finger and go around your mouth ah ah o is for orange 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 you glad that we're here today oval right we did the oval on our morning or at work on our globe otter i love cute little otters hoot, hoot. owl and octopus and i think we drew an octopus for directive drawing oh okay matt man says that we need what for our letter o well matt man says we need two big curves, right? Like we make his head two big curves, one big curve and then another big curve and they attach them. But friends, we know how to make an O. We just go all the way around like a circle. And we do that all the time, right? Now remember, this is a letter O. If I say what number is this, it would be zero. And if I said what shape it is, a circle. Very good. Aren't you glad you listened and learned and have your calm brains? I am. I am. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip real quick. All right, friends, that was globes and maps. After globes and maps, we moved into my neighborhood, my neighborhood. And this is a coloring page of our neighborhood. You can see a police station, you can see a school, Publix, playground, lots of houses, a park, right, a car. There's lots of things in our neighborhood. And we said that our neighborhood is Morningside. And this is when we had a really fun time with a game where we put Let's see if I can get it open. Lots of different things on our board of things that we find in our neighborhood. Let's see if I can get this out. It's all stuck together. Ah. All right, be patient. Be patient. It's coming. All right, can you guys see that? It says, My Neighborhood, Morningside. And we, you guys came and put up all these different little things on the board that represent things in our neighborhood. So some of the things we had, we had cars. We had Miss Deb going for a jog. Hi. We had our playground and our school, our fire station. We even had a train and train tracks, basketball hoop a park with kitties and doggies in it um, and a school bus and a scooter a mailbox a trash can and your house so we had really a fun time if you can see it putting all those things on our board for the, our neighborhood now besides all those great things like our home and parks and schools in our neighborhood we also have lots of street signs right 
lots of street signs like these and this was our morning work where you guys colored in the street signs and you pasted them on your paper right what are some of the street signs you guys can think of that are in our neighborhood what kind of street signs do you think are in our neighborhood what's this one stop stop right there are stop signs what color is a stop sign it's red right so there are stop signs there are signs that have like a, a, a an adult and a kid walking right so would you think you know what that street sign means it's when people are crossing the street the crosswalk right and we when we're going from our school to our playground right we stop and we look both ways we look to the right look to the left look to the right again and then we can go if there are no cars well, the cars are supposed to stop at the um, crossing the road crossing and they know that because there's a street sign there so there are lots of street signs in our neighborhood there are also let's see if I took it out I thought I did no nope. well red light green light yellow light or red light yellow light green light what is that in our neighborhood what kind of sign is that my my seat is coming down what kind of sign is that in our neighborhood do you guys remember do you know it's a traffic light that's right and we played red light green light one two three all the time so what does the red light mean stop what does the yellow light mean slow right slow down and what does the green light mean go run, 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 run. go 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 drive 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 right like piggy says drive 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 oh and piggy and elephant remember that book where they had the map and what did they turn that map into at the end they used it for a sailboat right the sail okay so that was our neighborhood excuse excuse me and we also brought in the letter p, p, p right now friends do you remember how much fun we have with letter p i'm going to show you in a minute but we came up with so many words that start with the letter p miss deb and i went home and we kept texting each other and calling each other and laughing and giggling really all the way till bedtime telling each other about p words and i'm going to show you some of the ones that we all came up with during school but on this coloring sheet we have p for pencil puppy pizza i love me some pizza we had our friday pizza um paint pigeon person paw paw this is my hand but pretend i'm a doggy paw and i think i said peanut p now what does matt man say we need for the letter p what does matt man say you are so smart i am so proud of you you need one one big line down and one little curve at the top right one big line down and one little line at the or little curve at the top p and p says p, p, for piggy that's right for piggy okay and what does a pig say oink oink right and friends i had a pizza yesterday for lunch i was so hungry after we went over all of the things we did yesterday that I made a pizza and it was yummy. Okay. All right, friends, look at this. These are all the words we came up with. I had to keep this and we had it actually posted outside of our door for a while. All right, all the words. <laughs> Sorry. Be patient, that's a P word look at all of these p words that we came up with and friends boy did we laugh and giggle all day because you guys kept saying miss Britt, there's not enough room we're running out of space right pigeon we're running out of space what are some of these p words let's see pockets paw pilot point plank Pooh for Pooh Bear. P 
peonies. It's a flower. Let's see, paper, periwinkle. It's a great color. Pistachio, pistachio. That's a fun word to say. Say that word, pistachio. <laughs> Pocahontas, a great Disney princess. Or actually, she's like a Disney hero, like Wonder Woman. Strong. Pin, protect. Will you protect me? I'll protect you. And let's see, puppet. I could go on and on and on, but friends, these videos are already long enough. They're pretty long. So I'm going to go eat my pineapple and pet my pig. See, this P thing, these P words, it's contagious. It gets in your brain and you can't stop. You just constantly are thinking about new P words. Okay. From my neighborhood, we then went on to the next theme. And the next theme goes really well with my neighborhood. Because not only in our neighborhood do we have like buildings and parks and trees and cars and all the beautiful things that make Morningside so gorgeous or Atlanta so gorgeous. We also have people called community helpers. And friends, I'm going to get sentimental. I'm going to get, my heart's going to uh, be sad a little bit or be happy. Um, right now, our community helpers are superheroes. Superheroes. They are doing so much for us right now when we have to stay home for the virus that you guys should send so much love to our community helpers. Let's talk about some of those, okay? First, here's our community helpers with heart there, a coloring page. And on this one, we have a chef, a construction worker, and a dentist. Okay, those are all community helpers. Now, some of the community helpers who are doing such a good job right now and are really the wonder women and the superheroes of our world, really, our world, not only our neighborhood, but our world, are nurses, and doctors and our mail people who are delivering all of our packages or our food or our mail, the people that are working in our grocery stores like Publix or Kroger or Trader Joe's, um, our policemen keeping us safe, our firemen, they're all doing an amazing job right now. Doctors, if you have a, I know some of your um, parents are doctors, give them a big hug, okay? Without them, this virus would be a lot worse. All right, some of community helpers we talked about, and you guys used to dress up as community helpers in our dramatic play center. On here we have fishermen, right? Fishermen catch our fish that we can eat. We have a fisherman in our classroom. Do you know who it is? Soren. Soren uh, caught a fish the other day or last week. Forest rangers, right? They keep our parks clean and safe. Farmers. Farmers are very important right now um, because they're growing our food, right? They're community helpers that we need right now. A waiter. What's a waiter? Do you remember? A waiter is somebody when you're in a restaurant and they bring you their food, right? A crossing guard. Our famous crossing guard at Haygood usually is Miss Allison or it was Miss Whitney sometimes, right? Um, and what does a crossing guard do? Right. They, they put their stop sign up so that the cars will stop and they'll let us cross the street, right? Doctor, we talked about doctors. Firefighters, you know what they do, right? What do they do? They put out fires, right? But we also said they save kitties from the trees. Um, veterinarian takes care of our doggies and our cats and our kittens and our pets. Police officer, very important nurse right we need them chef who's whose daddy's a chef in our in our uh, classroom right chef nick lyle's daddy um people that the trash collectors the garbage men and women you guys can go outside and wave to them they pick up our recycling which was another thing we talked about rhyme and reason to what we do and our mail carriers and mail carriers can be mail people or ups or amazon drivers right and then there's one other community helper 
What's my job? Teacher. And you know what? Your parents are your teachers now. So they're big, big time community helpers because not only are they your parents, but they're also your teachers. So please thank them and give them big hugs and kisses from Deb and I. Okay. Oh, do you guys remember when we watched the Sesame Street video and they sang that song that's an old school, we call it old school, it was when I was a little girl? A long time ago. Um, the song was, who are the people in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood, in your neighborhood. Say, who are the people in your neighborhood? The people that you meet when you're walking down the street. They're the people that you meet each day. Yay! I can do it. Yes, I can. I can try to sing. Try, keyword. But though we watch a lot of those Sesame Street videos, and I, I love seeing those. Um, one, other, one other thing about community helpers is you can be a community helper too, and it's called being a good citizen. Being a good citizen, and what does that mean? It says good citizens are kind. You're kind. They're helpful. Are you helpful? You are, you're very helpful. They follow the rules. Okay, they show respect to things and people around them. You guys are very good at that. They share and cooperate with others. They're honest and they're responsible. And you and they or community citizens are a member of our community, of our neighborhood. Okay, and that's you. So strive and try to be as good of a citizen as you can. And another way you can be a good citizen is when you get to be 18, you want to vote, vote. You want to vote for our president. And we're going to talk about presidents in a minute. Okay. This is when we introduce the letter that comes after P. After. What letter comes after P? Here's our P on our board. P, right? P is under L and on top of T. P comes after O. What comes after P? Did you say Q? Well, you are correct. Q. Q comes after P. And Q has a best friend. You're my best friend. But who is Q's best friend? You, right? You. No, not you. Letter U. Right. Well, you can be Q's best friend, but it's really letter U. Okay. Q always has you by her side. And what does Q and you together, what does Q say? Qua, qua. Right. For qua, 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 qua. And queen. And quarter. It could be a quarter, which we're going to, sh I'm going to show you with a cookie in a minute. Or it could be a question mark, right? Question mark. Question mark is like, how old are you? Question mark. Do you have any candy? Question mark. Quills are those spiky things on a porcupine. And the queen. The queen is married to who? The king. Or the king is married to who? The queen. That's right. Q. And what does Matt Man say we need to make the letter Q? Now you know it's a QY and not an O. Did I show you O from Matt Man? Yeah, I did. What is the difference between Q and O? Right, it's this little line that goes diagonal in the in the circle or in the O. Okay? So Matt Man says we need two big curves and one little line to make the Q. And you guys did a great job making the letter Q. Oh, the other thing that um, Q starts with is quilt. And do you guys remember we made a friendship quilt? Everybody got four squares and we put them all together and we hung them up outside and made our friendship quilt. Well, you guys are gonna get part of your friendship quilt back on Monday. We're gonna see you guys on Monday. Okay, so that was Community Helpers and that was um, uh, Q. Now, at this time, 
we introduced a very important person into our classroom. Do you guys remember who this is? That's the color monster, right? And he was very helpful during our year in school because the color monster helped us with our emotions, right? Helped us with our emotions. And we made all those felt color monsters and put them on our felt board. And you guys loved playing with them. So I thought we could take a break for a minute and read The Color Monsters because it's a very important book that maybe you guys could get at home. But something that I really want you guys to um, remember, just like how we do our breathing, right? Because it's okay when we get angry and frustrated and sad, but we need to learn how to control and deal with our emotions so that we do the right thing, so that we don't hit things or touch other people with our hands in, in a not so nice way, or we don't think before we speak, so we say not nice things to our friends, okay? So there's lots of things we can do like breathing and counting to 10 to help us with our emotions. And the color monster is a friend of ours who can help us with our emotions too. So let's read this. I know we have another um, circle time where I read this, but I really think it's important. This is the color monster. Today he woke up feeling confused and he doesn't know why. Are you all mixed up again, color monster? Our, your emotions don't work, work well when they're all jumbled up. He looks confused. You should try to separate them and put each one in its own jar. If you'd like, I can help you. She's a good citizen. Let's try to make sense of how you feel. La 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 la, walking through their neighborhood. Good morning, side. This is happiness. What color is happiness? Right, yellow. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you're happy, you laugh and jump and dance and play. You want to share your happiness with everyone. This is sadness. It's lonely and blue like a rainy day. It washes over you like the sea. Blue. When you're sad, you hide and want to be alone. You don't want to do anything except maybe cry. It's okay to cry, color monster. It certainly is, my friends. It is okay to cry. This is anger. It burns red like a fire and hard to stamp out. When you're angry, life can feel unfair. Sometimes you want to take out your anger on others. Oh, but I'll be nice to you, color monster, and your anger will disappear. <gasps> this is fear. It hides and runs away like a mouse in the night. Right? Sometimes we're scared. Sometimes we're scared of things. Even grown-ups are scared of things. When you're afraid, you feel tiny. You think you don't have the courage to face the gray shadows. But I can help you find your way, Wonder Woman. Ah, this is calm. It's quiet like the trees. And as light as green leaves, swaying in the wind. Right? That's why we breathe for our calm brains, our green monsters. 
When you're calm, you breathe slowly and deeply. You feel at peace. Namaste. Now you can rest, Color Monster. All your feelings are in the right place. See? Don't you feel much better? Question mark. Oh, I see you're feeling something new. You look different, Color Monster. Tell me how you feel now. What color is that, friends? Pink? Red and white make pink? And friends, what kind of monster is this? It's the love monster, right? And Miss Deb and I love you, the love monster. Friends, this is a great book, and it's something I really hope that you guys remember from our journey through school together, because the color monsters really help us with our emotions, okay? All right. So after Community Helpers, we got into the topic of careers, okay? Career is what you want to be when you grow up. Jobs, right? Jobs help us make money to pay for things. And we had a quote, if you love your job, it's not work. And friends, I love my job. I love being a teacher. Love it, love it, love it. And it never seems like work, never. So I hope when you guys grow up, you find something that you love so it doesn't feel like work. Careers. And we kind of already talked about this when we talked about our community helpers, right? We had chefs and doctors and male people and teachers and dentists and waiters. Careers. Why don't you go and ask your mommy or daddy or mommy and mommy or daddy and daddy what they do for their job. What's their job? Jackson, what does your mommy and daddy do? They're lawyers, right? Um, Lyle, what does your daddy do? He's a chef, right? Uh, Mia, what does um, your mama do? What does your mommy do? She owns Orange Theories, right? Gyms. Um, what else? Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to go to... Oh, Ellis, what does your daddy do? He builds houses. That's right. He builds houses. Um, who else? Oh, May's mommy. She's a teacher, and she teaches dance and singing. Um, trying to think who else. Uh, Leah, her mommy, is a lawyer. Yeah. And there are also some mommies and daddies who stay at home. They, that's their job, right? So Caroline's mommy, she stays, not Caroline, it's, it's her birthday on Friday. That's why it's Charlotte's mommy is a mommy. And she does all the things. We call them the CEOs of the house, right? And I was a mommy, a stay-at-home mommy, before I became a teacher and before I did Stinky Kids. And um, Charlotte's mom does so many other things, too, um, as well. So those are different careers. And we talked about what do you want to be when you grow up. We put it on the board. What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, and some of the things you guys said were mommies or daddies. Um, some said princesses. Uh, some said police or firemen. There were lots of great things. I think Ellis even said she wanted to be a teacher. And Ellis, you would be a great teacher. During this week, it also was the 100th day of school. What? It was the 100th day of school. 100. Can you count to 100? Okay, don't do it now because we're still learning. <laughs> but maybe after the video, go try to count to 100. I know Soren can do that count to a hundred. And what we did was everybody brought in their own snacks and we put them on our placemat and we showed you what 100 looked like with snacks. And we had pretzel sticks and chocolate chips and M&Ms. Just so happen to have some. Got an M&M? Here. I'll share. Can you get it? Grab it. M&Ms. Okay, we had Cheerios and raisins and Fruit Loops and pieces of popcorn and goldfish and Teddy Grahams 
and we put them all on here and we counted together and then we made a treat bag to take home. And that was a really fun exercise or activity that we did together. We also talked about the letter R and what does R say? R. Right, we lift up our shoulders. It kind of sounds like we're sounding like a dog, but R. R. And it's for robot and rabbit, ring, rocket, which we drew together, rainbow, we talked about all the colors of the rainbow, and rain. Oh, there's also a rake. Rake. Maybe we'll draw a robot today. Might be fun. Um, okay, R and Matt Man for letter R. What does he say we need? Very good. One big line down, one little curve at the top, and one diagonal little line. Okay? R for rake, rainbow, and rose. R. 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 All right, let's take a break. Want to get a sip? Let's get a sip. Do you have a snack you want to get? Get a snack and eat it while we're doing this together. Because let's see, we've got one, two. Oh, we have a lot more to go. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> we have done so much at school. All right, after we talked about careers, one of the careers, or we talked about being a good citizen, and being a good citizen is voting. Voting, And one of the careers that you guys would vote for is president. Okay, famous people is what we're talking about next. Important people. And one of the most important people in our country is our president. And we want them to be very good leaders. And this is a very good leader, Abraham Lincoln. Okay, and this is one of our presidents. Now there are a lot of different important people, okay? Like the person that is married to the president, if it's a man, could be a lady soon. Um, if it's a man, the person that's married to the president is the first lady. And we had a great first lady, Michelle Obama, and we all watched a video of Michelle Obama on Sesame Street. We also had these books 50 fearless women and we looked through here and talked about some of them oprah winfrey was one of them um let's see elizabeth blackwell um trying to find ones oh uh there were a lot andrew day o'connor okay and we took out 50 fearless women and we read that book. Another book that we took out during this time was American Trailblazers, okay? And on here you had athletes and performers and scientists and explorers and writers. Harvey Milk, he was an activist. Edna Lewis, she was a chef. Um, David Ho, he was a medical researcher or doctor. Oh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She's a Supreme Court Justice, and she's awesome. Well, I'm giving you my opinion, sorry. Um, we had a marine biologist and lots of other people here. An activist, American heroes and trailblazers. And then we also... Uh, May's mommy showed me this book. I had to run out and get it. Actually, this is this is a copy that she had that they gave to me. So nice. And this is Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls. So these are all really, really important women. There's Michelle Obama. In our history, Mitzi Copeland, which we'll talk about in a minute. And we tried to color some of these um, pictures. Simone Biles, she's a gymnast who won gold in the Olympics. There's painters and warrior queens. A great book, okay? So we talked about important people and we also brought in the letter S. S right? Like a snake, S. 
S. And on our coloring sheet, we have a snake, shoe, smile, shirt, scissors, a starfish. Oh, I'd love to be at the beach right now finding starfish. Ella showed me some of her. No, it uh, wasn't a starfish. I forgot what you showed me. Yeah, it may have been. Um, sun, spider, snail, sailboat that um, Soren showed us, a show and share. S, lots of S words. And there was one S word that Miss Deb showed us and we counted the number of letters in it. And it was from one of her favorite movies, Mary Poppins. And the word is, do you remember what the word was? Or is? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Can you say that? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Let me show you what that word looks like. We did this on the board. I'm going to say it as I spell it. S U P E R C A L I F R A G I L I S T I C Oh my gosh, friends, I need another piece of paper. Hold on. E X P I A L I D O C I O U S. You're not going to believe this. And I know we saw this before. Pretend this is one long word. I needed two pieces of paper. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious. Um, diddly, um, diddly. Look at this word. Here, I'll do it this way. Mm -hmm. <gasps> you know how many letters are in supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? 34! 34 letters in that word. What? And you know what? This is the truth. Pinky swear promise. You can write all 34 letters all by yourself. What? Yes. Yes, you can. You know how to write all those letters. Supercalifragilis supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. 34 letters. All right. After Important People, it was one of my favorite weeks of all time at school. Do you remember what it was? Valentine's Day week. Right, Valentine's Day week. And why is Valentine's Day week Miss Britt's favorite week of school? It's about love and kindness and candy. I love candy. Candy and chocolate. Yummy. And oh my goodness, friends, did we have fun for Valentine's Day? Not only did you guys write such great cards to all your friends, but we had um, Fruit Loops that we strung on licorice st um, rope. We um, decorated our Valentine's Day bags with the Love Monster, right? We did finger paint trees for um, our parents, which I think I've seen this hung up in some of your homes while we've been FaceTiming. We had sponges made out of hearts that we created process art with. We had pieces of paper that we cut out and glued into our heart. We had so much fun doing all of those things. And we also talked about one of my favorite books, The Hug. Can I give you an air hug? Air hug. Social distance hug. The Hug. And we had all the characters up on the board and you guys actually helped us act this book out. You had your characters that you held up and when we talked about them in the book, you held them up and then you put them on the felt board, loud and proud, standing up tall with confidence, it was so good. Can I read you some of the hug? 
Okay, there's three books this time because this is a, they're three of my favorite books. So we talked about the hook, okay? The hook. Tortoise was feeling sad. As sad as a tortoise can feel. So sad, only one thing could help. Do you remember? Hello, said tortoise. Hello, said badger. Might you give me a big hug? asked tortoise. Oh, I'm sorry, but my hands are all sticky, replied badger. Slurp, slurp, look at turtle. So sad. Might I trouble you for a small hug? asked turtle, tortoise. Not right now, said Rabbit. Unfortunately, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm digging a very important hole. Dig, 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 dig. And Tortoise or Turtle is sad. I know Miss Deb, Deb would give Tortoise a, a hug because sea tur turtles are her favorite. Do you have time for a quick hug? Asked Tortoise. Not now, replied Frog. Ribbit, sorry, but I have to jump over there now. Nobody wants to give him a hug. Boing. Where are you going? Why will no one hug me? Asked Tortoise. It's your shell, replied Owl. It's just so very hard. But don't worry. There's someone for everyone. Now, I am even more sad, said Tortoise. Will I ever find someone to hug? And that's when, who came along, friends? Who is that? They met. <gasps> Da -na -na -na, na -na -na -na. And that's when they <gasps> hugged. They hugged. As happy as a hug can make you. As happy as two someones can be. Now, the fun thing about this book is that on the other side, it tells the perspective, we talked about that, from of the tortoise on one side and this little guy on the other. Who is that little guy? Do you remember the name of what he is? He's a hedgehog. Hedgehog was feeling sad. As sad as a hedgehog can feel. So sad, only one thing could help. And you know what that is. Hello, said Hedgehog. Hello, said the fox. Please may I have a hug, asked Hedgehog. I'd love to, replied fo Fox, but um, I've got to go uh, knock over that bin. Bang, crash, splat. I'm feeling quite sad and would very much like a hug, said Hedgehog. I'm a little busy counting all of my nuts over here, replied Squirrel, who only had three nuts. Now have to start over. One, two, three. One, two, three. Poor Hedgehog, but we know it's going to happen. Might you give me a small hug, Beg Hedgehog? Perhaps after I sing my song, replied Magpie, which is quite long. Squack, 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 squack. Why, will no one hug me, Hedgehog sniffed. You're just a little bit tricky to hug, replied Owl, with all your prickly prickles. But don't worry, there's someone for everyone. And what's going to happen now? Now I'm even more sad, said Hedgehog. Will I ever find someone to hug? And that's when 
they met. And that's when they, na 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 na, <gasps> hugged. A ha as happy as a hug you can make, as happy as two someones can be, right? So you got to see it from the tortoise and from the hedgehog's point of view, perception. I just love that book. And we had a lot of fun with that and a lot of fun with Valentine's Day. And we talked about lots of words that go with Valentine's Day. We came up with hearts and love and hugs and candy and chocolate. That's why I have this up here. All right. All right. We also brought in, we're almost done, friends. We also brought in the letter T. T is for tortoise or toad or turtle. Table and tea. Okay, not tea the letter, but tea that you drink. I had a tea party with uh, Leah on FaceTime. Toothbrush and teeth or tooth. Terrific turtle, 10, truck, and hello, hello. Telephone, my banana phone, telephone. T. And T says, Oh, I forgot to show you S. S, that man says we need two little curves, but we just do it in one big swoop. S is a hard letter to write, S and T. What does Matt man say we need for T? One big line and one little line, right? T, T, T. Okay. We also did a, a science experiment that Science Sarah left for us with Cupid, where Cupid was on the balloon and we counted and then the balloon took off. That was kind of fun. All right. After that, we talked about, um, after Valentine's Day, kind of going along with our same, same theme as important people, we celebrated Black History Month because that was in the month of February, okay? And we celebrate Black History Month. And this is a picture of one of my favorite characters from a book uh, from Hair Love. Okay, so you guys get to color her hair love. And I, I did this with a lot of my art, art uh, students where I taught them how to draw her. And this is the book, Hair Love. And it won an Academy Award, an Oscar for Best Animated Short. It did. And it's a bo book about a little girl and her daddy, and they're trying to fix her hair. And I'd love to read this to you guys, too. Um... But for Black History Month, we talked about a number of famous um, black um, Americans, uh, African Americans. We talked about Missy Copeland, who is a famous ballerina. LeBron James, who's what people say what was the, is the greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan. This is one of the Atlanta Falcon, no, no Atlanta United uh, soccer players. And um, his name, I'm forgetting. I'll, I'll have it for tomorrow. Um, Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, our president and first lady. And Lizzo, who teaches us to love ourselves. And she's a great singer. And we also celebrated some of these famous black cartoon characters. Um, we just talked about Hair Love. Who's this? Doc McStuffin. Franklin from the Peanuts. Frozone from the Incredibles and Tiana from Princess and the Frog, which is one of Emma's favorite movies. And we talked all about those famous people. And we also brought in the letter U. U, not me, but you, not you, but you. The letter U for ukulele, umbrella, unicycle, UFO, under who? Underwear? Underwear. Up. And unicorn. Unicorn. Ah! And that's where our little unicorns came from because you guys love unicorns. And we also read one of, another favorite book of mine, the, being the famous unicorn, right? And that was her. Um, we also drew a unicorn in directive draw. And you, whose best friend is you? Q, right. And you is our fifth 
vowel, Jackson. And what did you say? Uh, uh, uh. Right, you take your fist into your stomach. Uh, umbrella, USA, uniform, you. All right. I'm going to leave with this hair love because I really want to read it. But the next thing we did was we did we talked about rhyming, okay? We had a thumbs up if it rhymed and a thumbs down if it didn't rhyme, okay? And we brought in rhyming because in order to read all these books, rhyming helps you. And with Black History Month, there are a lot of famous black writers or authors or illustrators and there are some books that rhyme. So that's how rhyming came in after Black History Month, okay? So some of the things that we rhymed were, what are these? Mouse, house, rhymes, thumbs up. Lip, zip, rhymes, thumbs up. Sock, wagon, uh-uh. Sock, wagon, doesn't rhyme. And we had a lot of fun with this because when it doesn't rhyme, it doesn't sound good to your ears. And we would laugh and giggle a lot. B key. Rhyme? It does. Jet rug. No. Hat or cap fin or fish. Uh -uh. Thumbs down. Rhyming. Here's our coloring page. Bear chair. Rhymes. A rhyming coloring page. Okay. So those are our rhyming words that we did. And look, friends, we did so many in our class, so many. And we can play that rhyming game another time, too. It was also leap year, and we showed you leap year with cookies, Oreo cookies, with cookies. And we showed you that a leap year is every four years because it takes 365 days and one quarter to go around the moon in a year. So you have to add up the four quarters to make a leap year. So we get an extra day in February. So the leap year was this year and it was February 29th. And we talked about that too. Um, we also brought in the letter V. V, 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 V. Matt Man says we need what for V? right? Two big lines. And they don't make kind of like a circle or a, like a smile. That would be an, a U. See the U kind of looks like a smile. The V has the point at the bottom. So it's two diagonal big lines. Okay, you can do it. Yes, you can. And some of our words were vegetables, growing food, vest. You can put a vest on. Van. We drew vans. I loved your vans. May made an amazing van. All of you did. I loved when you did that. A vase where you put flowers in. Vowels, Jackson. And volcanoes. Volcanoes. Okay, certain landforms. Volcanoes. And that's our V coloring page. Whew. And that, my friends, is everything we did up until our next topic, which was famous authors. Famous authors, and that's also where rhyming comes in because there's a famous author that we'll talk about tomorrow who did a lot of rhyming in his books. This is a hint, okay? All right. Before we go, there were two more things I wanted to do with you. I wanted to draw, and I wanted to read Hair Love. I think I'm going to save the drawing for tomorrow, and we'll do a robot in our part four of Remembering Our School. Friends, tomorrow is our last circle time on video for this year. Unbelievable. And we're also gonna have the Friday dance. But I wanna read you, read you one other favorite book of mine called Hair Love. And there is a, um, a movie of it. I'll send your parents the link uh, with this video after I'm done. But we watched it in class. And I have to tell you, I gave Miss Allison this for her birthday or for um, Valentine's Day or some special thing because it reminds me of her too. Hair love. Oh, and look, on my book, the author and illustrator signed it. How kind. Hair love. 
I hope you guys stick with me and get to listen to this story because it's such a good story. And I love the illustrations too. My name is Zuri and I have hair that has a mind of its own. It kinks, it coils, it curls every which way. Mine kind of is like that too. And she's got her little kitty. Daddy tells me it's beautiful, right? We're all different, all different, all unique. That makes me proud. I love my, that my hair lets me be me. In funky braids with beads, I am a princess. I think she's pretending to be Rapunzel. And when my hair is in two puffs, I am above the clouds like a superhero. Yes, you are, sorry. My hair even does magic tricks. One day, Rocky, that's her cat, and I were playing outside when all along came the rain. From large to small it went, presto, just like that. There is nothing my hair can't do. Today I woke up extra early all by myself. I was too excited to sleep. It's a big day. Daddy was still sleeping. Shh, I said to Rocky as we tiptoed past him. Lately, Daddy has been worn out, meaning he's been very tired. He makes me breakfast, takes me to school, goes to work, picks me up, and yesterday we went for a bike ride around the park. I think he needs a break. Kind of like your parents are doing everything for you right now while the virus, while we have the virus. Because today is special and I want a perfect hairstyle. This calls for a professional's touch. Pause off, Rocky. Daddy heard the crash. Zuri, what on earth, he asked. So she's getting out her iPad and up. Oh, she dropped it and woke up her daddy. I was only trying to help, I said. Daddy smiled. I can help too. It'll be a piece of cake, Zuri. Or he calls her Zuzu which is a cute nickname. Do you guys have a nickname? Zuzu. Um, the first style was a big no way. Daddy's trying to do her hair, but Zuzu or Zuri didn't like it. The second was, was no better. No, Daddy. Then Daddy tried slicking my hair back into two puffs. Ouch, Daddy yelled. She didn't like this hairstyle, and they tried to do two puffs and her hair bow came flying out. Wait a minute, Daddy said as he reached into the drawer and pulled out a pick. Ta-da! Daddy, really, I said. I'll be right back, I promise. Look at her big hair. I actually think it looks pretty cool. Now that's that, he asked, pulling a hat down over her eyes. Daddy, come on. We can do better than that. I can do I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said. We'll figure this out. Then I had a great idea. She used her own brain and she thought of a good idea. Daddy gathered all the tools we needed and we were set. Watching carefully, Daddy combed, parted, oiled, and twisted. He nailed it. Yes, he nailed it. I can do it. Funky puff buns. Pretty, pretty, and so much fun. Rocky approved, too. Rocky's her cat. I put on my superhero cape, Wonder Woman, as the final touch to the perfect look. Where's my Zuzu, Mommy called from the door. She could not get in the house fast enough. You've got to be the prettiest Supergirl I've ever seen, her mommy said. So it was that her mommy was coming home. That's what the big day was. And your hair is beautiful, Zuri. Who did it? Question mark. I looked at Daddy and beamed. Mommy smiled. Very nice. Thank you. We learn from the best, Daddy said as he gave her a big hug. And they actually learned from the mommy. The mommy made a video of how to do your hair while well, she was gone. My hair is mommy, daddy, and me. It's hair love. 
And that's the family all together, smiling and accepting who they are and their uniqueness. And you all are unique and kind and amazing. I love you. Thank you for sticking with me for an hour and 15 minutes. What? Remembering our school year, part three. Tomorrow, part four. And remember, here's the clue for tomorrow. Bye, little unicorns.